Okay guys, so before I start, I'm sorry if you can hear that noise. That noise is the dryer. I actually forgot that the dryer makes noise and I should have probably done this review when before I actually turned the dryer on. But oh hell, so this is gonna be a review of the Smart Shake. Now this is the basic one. You can get another one. I can't remember what it's called, but it's got like different compartments and stuff like that. So this is what the basic one looks like here um so this is what the actual cup looks like you can get different colors and then you've got this neat thing which you can attach to it if you want to so if you want to clip it on to something i've never really used that i've just like sort of carried it with my finger through it which i don't really advise because it was a struggle getting my finger out of there but yeah <laughs> yeah so that's the actual cup and then you've got this thing here, this is the component, and this and this goes at the bottom of here. So that you can stick in your protein powders, whatever powders, um, your tablets, your vitamins, you know, stuff like that. You can just keep it in there. Um, with the Pro one, it has different sections. So with this one, you can't really mix it unless you're gonna mix the pills you could probably do that but if you've got one part one what well, if you want to take with you um a pill and then our, um a powder then obviously you'd have to stick the powder either in here or in another container whereas the pro one it has it sectioned off um and you can fit more in it but yeah, and then you've got this thing here, which is the actual thing that shakes up and mixes up the mixture, and that fits onto the cap here, like so. Now, the cap thing I'm not a massive fan of, just because this bit here is quite big. Now, it's fine if you're gonna shake it up and then pour it into a glass. Um, it's just a little bit awkward with it being if you're gonna drink straight from the cup because the gap is so big, so it's slightly a little bit, a little bit awkward. But it's alright. It's not that much of a hassle. Now, does it actually help mix the actual um, powder and everything? Now, you do have to shake it for quite a bit, not too long. But even if you shake it a few times, you may still see lit, lit, little bits of powder that still hasn't like dissolved or mixed into the actual mixture. Now, it does dissolve on its own if you've obviously done it the night before. But obviously, if you're making it for, you know, after you work out, then it's just not going to dissolve. Um, it's not too much powder, but... You know, it's not. It's not really ideal. Ideal. You'd rather. I'd rather have it all mixed in, all dissolved, and everything like that. But it's not much of an issue. It's literally small particles. Not that much. Like it doesn't affect the taste or anything of whatever you're taking. Um, but yeah, overall it's all right. As I said, it's a very basic shake. Um, shake bottle. Um. It does what it does as i said it doesn't it's not a hundred percent if you get what i mean it doesn't a hundred percent mix in the powder really 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 well but I, it's not asking too much because as i said it is it's just a basic smart shaking but obviously you get more advanced like things that mix up your drinks but this this will do you know <laughs> it'll do it's not bad but it's not amazing so bye guys